Here's a question for you. Let's say we have three resistors connected in parallel with respect to each other. And we know the current that is entering this circuit. Let's say that current is 13 amps. Now let's call this R1, R2, and R3. And let's say that R1 is 4 ohms. And we're going to say R2 is 6 ohms and R3 is 8 ohms. And this is all you know. You don't know the voltage across any one of these resistors. This is all that's given to you. How can you determine the current flowing through resistor 1? And what about the other currents? The current flowing through resistor 2 and the current flowing through resistor 3. How can you calculate these three currents without any other information? Feel free to pause the video, think about it, see if you can come up with a way to solve this difficult problem. Go ahead and take a minute to try this problem. It turns out that there is a formula that you could use. And here is one version of that formula. I1 is going to equal R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R1 times R2 divided by R3. And then all of this times the total current. So have you ever seen that equation before? We'll talk about how we can derive it. But let's use it first. So R2 is 6 ohms. R1, that's 4 ohms. R2 is still 6. And then R1 times R2, that's 4 times 6, divided by R3, which is 8, times the total current, which is 13. So let's do some algebra here. So we have 6. And then 4 plus 6 is 10. 4 times 6 is 24, and 24 divided by 8 is 3, and 10 plus 3 is 13, which will cancel with this 13, giving us a current of 6. So I'm just going to write 6 amps for I1. Now, once we have one of the currents, we don't need to use this formula again to find the other currents. but if you do want to use the formula, let me show you how you can adapt it. So let's say if you want to calculate I2 instead. It's going to be R1 over R1 plus R2 plus R1 R2 over R3 times the total current. So we'll go ahead and use this equation, and I'll show you another way to get that same answer once you already know I1. R1 is 4, and then R1 plus R2, that's 4 plus 6. R1 times R2, that's 4 times 6. R3 is 8, and the total current is still 13. Okay, my computer just like froze for a second. I don't know why. Now, this is the same. 4 times 6 is 24 divided by 8. That's 3. And then 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 3, that's 13. So this will give us 4. So I'm going to see if I can fit it in here. So I2 is 4 amps. And now let me show you the other way of getting that answer. You need to understand that Whenever you have resistors connected in parallel with each other, the voltages across those resistors are the same. So V1, that is the voltage across R1, is the same as V2 and V3. So let's calculate V1. V1 is I1 times R1. It's the current that flows through R1, which is 6, times R1 itself, which is 4. So 6 times 4 is 24. Now that we have V1, we know what V2 is. V2 is going to be equal to I2 times R2. V2 is 24. R2 is 6. So 24 divided by 6 
gives us a current of 4 amps for I2, which is what we have. So now we can easily calculate I3 using this. V3 is equal to I3 times R3. V3 is still 24. R3 is 8. 24 divided by 8 gives us a current of 3 amps. And just to check the work, you can see that these three currents add up to the total current. 6 plus 4 plus 3 gives us a total of 13. Now, we could have also found this answer by taking 13 and subtracted by I1 and I2. That would have given us 3 as well. So we really didn't need to use Ohm's law once we had the first two currents in order to find the second current. I mean, in order to calculate the value of the third current. So that's how you can solve this particular circuit. It's helpful if you know that formula, but let's talk about how we can derive that formula. Now, as we said before, the three resistors that are connected in parallel have the same voltage. So V1 and V2 and V3, they're all equal to each other. Now, V1 is I1 times R1. V2 is I2 times R2. V3 is I3 times R3. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on just these two sides of the equation. You could use the third side if you want to, but I'm going to focus on the fact that I1 R1 is equal to I2 R2. Now, the total current in the circuit, which was the 13 amps, that's equal to the sum of the three currents flowing in the three resistors. So what I'm going to do is isolate I2 by moving I1 and I3 to the other side. So IT minus I1 minus I3, that's going to equal I2. So let's replace I2 with what we see here. So IT minus I1 minus I3 times R2. So we're going to ignore the third side of the equation. Now, what we need to do is get rid of I3 because it wasn't part of the first equation that we used to solve that circuit. So how can we get rid of I3? Keep in mind, V3 is I3 times R3. So I3 is V3 divided by R3. So let's use this substitution. So we're going to have I1, R1, is equal to IT minus I1 minus V3 over R3 times R2. Now we need to do something with this V3 because we don't know the voltage across any of the resistors. Now V3 is equal to V1. And we know that V1 is I1 times R1. So let's replace V3 with that. So this is what we now have. Our next step is to distribute R2 to everything that we see here inside the parentheses. So let's clear away some stuff. So we're going to have I1, R1, that's equal to the total current, IT, times R2, and then minus I1, R2, minus I1, R1, R2, over R3. Now, every term that has an I1 in it, we're going to move it to the left side of the equation. So that's this one and this one. On the right side, they have a negative sign in front of them. But when we move it to the left side, they will now contain a positive sign. So this is going to be I1, R1 plus I1, R2, and then plus I1 times R1, R2 over R3. And then that's going to equal the total current 
times R2. Now our next step is to factor out I1. So it's R1 plus R2 plus R1 R2 over R3 times the stuff on the right side. Next, we need to divide it by all of this. We want to divide both sides of the equation by R1 plus R2 plus R1 R2 over R3. So now we have this equation. R2 divided by everything we see here. R1 plus R2 plus R1 R2 over R3. And then times this current, the total current. So that's how you can calculate the current in a resistor where you have three resistors connected in parallel given the total current entering that circuit. So that's it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks again for watching.